Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I'm doing an alcohol ink and resin tray, but I'm doing this one a little bit differently than normal. Normally, I just go for just a pretty pattern of some sort, but in this case, I actually wanted to make a very specific design. So I had kind of a picture in my head that I wanted to see if I could accomplish with my alcohol inks. And basically what I'm going for is a sunset beach look. So I started off with the top, going for a sunset and I started off with a little bit of yellow and then I added some orange some red and I decided also to put a little bit of purple on the top you can see I'm using very little amounts of the alcohol ink do not overdo it you can absolutely put too much and then you'll have some curing issues I'm using primarily ranger alcohol ink but I'm also using a couple of pinatas I, I find that the Ranger alcohol inks tend to work best for this technique, but feel free to try out different ones. So on the bottom, I'm using some various blues um, for the water, going for kind of uh, some darker blues at the bottom and on the edges for a little bit darker water. And then I also added a little bit of a metallic blue. And then I was kind of trying to figure out how to do the actual sun. So I decided to just try putting some white in the middle with a little bit of yellow around that. Now normally I pour very slowly in the middle and let it push it all out, but I didn't want to do that with this design. So I did that a little bit in the middle and I did just a, a fun little reverse here on the editing. And then I poured um, in a linear fashion for the rest of it essentially to kind of get more... Um, of the horizontal lines in my pattern which wasn't very easy going around that middle part this is mixed media girl artist resin and for this right now i'm using about 12 ounces at this point i wasn't sure if i was going to make it into a bowl or a tray i decided to kind of decide once it had cured a little bit so i put a bunch of the resin in until pretty much it was full and then I wasn't completely happy with the design and how it came out. It was a little too spotty and my sun had kind of disappeared. So I went back in and I added a drop of white in the middle and a drop of yellow in the middle of that. Now keep in mind that resin moves as it dries. So I did not expect that to stay like that. But um, I definitely wanted to add that color back in thinking that probably the colors around it would kind of come in around it. Hopefully that makes sense. I then took a stick and I used that to modify the rest of my design a little bit, get more of that linear look that I was looking for, a little less spotty. And I did that on the top and the bottom. And then on the top, I was a little unhappy with how that purple came out. I thought it was a little too cool of a purple and I, wanted a warmer purple I guess you could say but I don't really have one so I decided to go ahead and just add some of the warmer colors back to the top over that purple so I would still get that purple in there but a little little more of the warm tones I added a little bit of uh, pink and a little bit of yellow and then went back in with the stick and just moved that around oh also a little bit of red <laughs> and so that just gave me a little bit warmer colors up there i was pretty happy with how the water came out but i did want to add some like lighting from the sun so i added just a little bit of white in there as well and then moved it back and forth with the stick to give some light on the water some reflection there and i thought that came out pretty nice i didn't want to overdo this and have the white kind of take over um, and also at this point, I had already kind of planned to embellish it a little bit further once this had cured. So just as a note, I didn't want to overdo it. Um, I used 91% isopropyl alcohol to get rid of the air bubbles. You could use a heat gun, but that will kind of move your pattern around. So the alcohol works best for me. Um, don't use a torch on your silicone molds because it can absolutely ruin them. So... As this was curing, I decided this would look amazing as a tray, and that's what I decided to go with. So I let that uh, fully cure, and then I went in and embellished it with just some acrylic paint. 
Uh, here I made a light blue. Basically, I wanted to kind of sharpen up that horizon line. I felt like it was just a little too blended. So I just used some light blue to sharpen up that line. And then I thought, let's go ahead and add some palm trees as well. And for that, I just used black. So it's just a silhouette of the palm trees. And I created the um, trunks first, which is just a line. And here you can see a little bit better. And then I have um, some of the palm fronds <laughs> kind of coming down. And these are actually surprisingly easy. You just create a kind of a curved line and then you feather that out. And just kind of the sloppier the better. Palm trees are not really neat and organized um, or anything like that. So just a simple curved thin line for the trunk. Then some curved lines down from the top. And then you're going to just feather those out. Uh, you actually just need to feather the bottoms usually. But sometimes I add a little bit of feathering to the top if I feel like it needs a little bit more. I let that paint fully dry. It's acrylic paint, so it dries pretty fast. And then I put a clear coat of resin over that. And in this clear coat of resin, I have a little bit of diamond dust because I wanted to add some sparkle. And honestly, I did not measure how much resin I put into this coat, but it's probably about another 10 to 12 ounces. And I did use my heat gun here because I'm not worried about a design. I'm just moving that resin around a little bit and getting rid of any air bubbles. And then in this layer, I also added the handles. Now the handles, I like to just stick directly into the resin um, and let it cure that way. This resin is very, very strong unless you're carrying around bricks or maybe gold bars, um, which I typically am not. You should not have an issue with the weight. But if you like it better or you feel more comfortable, absolutely feel free to um, screw in those handles from the bottom. That's totally up to you. And then here's how it looks cured. I let that cure for a good, you know, actually probably longer than 24 hours, but about 24 hours. And then demolded it. And I think that this just looks awesome. Um, I love the fact that it's slightly transparent, but it's also really bright and it has a lot of color and it just makes you kind of think of um, sitting on the beach and, you know, having a nice vacation or something. And it's really cute. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Let me know what you think of this project. I hope you liked it and I'll see you all next time.